It was nearly a year ago that Gabby Petito set off on a road trip with her boyfriend at the time, Brian Laundrie. And what happened after that turned into a months-long mystery, then a manhunt that eventually ended tragically with both Gabby and Brian dead. There are many things about this case and the relationship that we will never know, but there is one question that we may finally have answers to. How much did Brian Laundrie's parents, Chris and Roberta Laundrie, know about what happened to Gabby. They may have to reveal that as part of a lawsuit filed against them by the parents of Gabby Petito that will be getting underway tomorrow. Senior national correspondent Brian Nenton has been following this story since the very beginning and he is joining us tonight. Brian, I guess the biggest thing is uh, help us map out what we can expect at tomorrow's hearing. Uh, the first, uh, that there will be a lot of tension on the laundry parents. Yeah, Marty, I think you really hit the nail on the head on why this is such a big deal and why this civil case could be so important. It's because we haven't heard from the laundries. They haven't said really a word since all of this uh, began besides statements to their attorney. So if this ends up moving forward and going to trial, uh, they could be required to testify. There would be discovery. Evidence would come forward. We might finally get some of the answers uh, that we've all been waiting for. But it's a very big if this moves forward. And that is what the judge is going to talk about and possibly decide on tomorrow. Uh, the laundry's attorney has asked for all of this to be thrown out. Uh, the Petitos are claiming uh, that the laundry's caused pain and suffering. Uh, but the laundry's attorney says, look, they didn't have to talk. Uh, we chose for them to remain silent. Uh, that is a right of every American. Uh, and they're going to say, look, this, this needs to be tossed out. And the judge will decide tomorrow. Right. Steve Bertolino, the attorney for the laundry, is calling the lawsuit baseless. And he says uh, that Steve and Roberta did what everyone else should and would do in the same situation. Um, there will be cameras allowed in the courtroom tomorrow. Will the families be present? We don't know. Um, it's our understanding that the laundries will likely not be there, uh, that their attorneys will just be there for them, which is really uh, no surprise in light of um, sort of the way that they've been portrayed over the last year or so, that they would want to avoid the limelight and all the cameras that will be outside. In terms of whether the Petitos will be there, uh, we don't know at this point. I, it's possible they will be. They may be wanting to send a message. You know, there was uh, at one point during this process that the judge said that they needed to beef up their lawsuit if they didn't want it to be thrown out, which they did. Uh, so tomorrow they're really going to be fighting uh, for this to remain in the court system. Right. And in doing so, they say they have new evidence to back up their case and their claims. Any indication what that evidence might be? Yeah, it, which is very, very interesting. They haven't let on, on on what that new evidence is. But again, that is what would be so fascinating about this process if it moves forward, is all of that would come out. Um, the the FBI would reveal uh, what they have to the court. Uh, the, the Petito family would reveal what they know. You know, they met with the FBI. Remember, Marty, they spent hours meeting with the FBI when the case was closed and getting all sorts of information that we don't know about. Uh, all of that would likely come out um, if this civil trial moves forward. The other thing, Brian, is G uh, Gabby's parents' attorneys have put forth this wish list of potential witnesses in the case. Uh, who all's on it? Yeah, I was just going over the list. Um, it, it's really no one that surprised me that much. It, it's sort of you'd expect uh, Gabby's parents, um, mom and dad and the step parents, uh, Christopher and Roberta Laundry, which again would be very, very interesting if they were required to talk. Of course, they could plead the fifth, but if, if they had to sit down at a deposition for the first time to hear what they have to say, uh, would certainly be enlightening. Uh, and then representatives of the FBI uh, and of the Northport Police Department. Um, FBI, you remember, Marnie, they put out that closeout memo when they closed out the case with, with some new details, but there's still so much they didn't uh, say publicly. So if they were required to testify, uh, again, we, we would just learn so much more about all of this. So if the judge dismisses the case, which um, in all likelihood, that's a, that's a real possibility, then what, Brian? Is that the end? It is a real possibility. Um, and, and, you know, I think, I think it's good you said that because so many of us who are passionate about this case and want the information and feel terrible for, for, for the Petitos, uh, we all have to realize that that is a possibility. Um, so many of the attorneys that I've interviewed, uh, legal analysts say, look, it, it's almost likely that this could possibly get thrown out because um, the laundries did have the right to remain silent and did not have to come forward if that's what their lawyer was telling them to do. But of course, there's also a chance that this could move forward. 
forward. Um, and, uh, and, and if it does, again, uh, that's, that's when we would likely learn a lot of new information. Well, Circuit Court Judge in Sarasota, Florida, Hunter Carroll, will be presiding over tomorrow's hearing. Again, I said there will be cameras in the courtroom. And if the case, Brian, is not thrown out, a trial set for summer of next year, correct? Yeah, that's right. A jury trial set. A lot of people made sort of a big deal of that, that a jury trial was already set. But that is procedural. I mean, that's sort of what happens in the system. Again, tomorrow is the big moment. Uh, not where we're going to learn a lot of new information, all these questions we've had about what's in the notebook and what do the laundries know. That's not going to come out tomorrow. But what we are going to learn uh, likely is whether or not th this case moves forward. All right, Brian. Well, we know you'll be on the case and we'll see you tonight uh, as you're filling in for Banfield. See you then. Yep. You got it. Thanks, Marty. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.